Sales tax penalties are probably the largest and most aggressive penalties I've ever seen uh, in my line of work. I was dealing with a client actually earlier today who owes sales taxes for the last two years and you know, there's not that, when it comes to regular income taxes, there's usually the 25% limit. So if you owe like 10,000 of income taxes, your penalties are usually limited to 2,500 bucks, where sales tax, they don't have those kind of limits in New York. Sales tax and payroll taxes, trust fund taxes, which means it was really never your money. You were just holding it in trust or in a fund until it was time and the end of the month or into the quarter to remit it. So they feel that the penalties for sales tax, there is no limit on it and can quickly go up to 50% of what's owed pretty fast. So um, it's really not something you want to fall behind on. The two main reasons sales tax audits occur are as if, number one, the New York State Sales Tax Department feels like you're underreporting sales, whether that's usually because of cash sales that are easier to hide than, than credit card or than sales made in other ways. The second reason is if use tax, because it's sales and use tax. When there's a big amount spent on construction or equipment or furniture, they want to make sure that that was New York State use tax was paid on that item. Because if that item is being used in New York State by any individual or any business, you're supposed to pay New York State use tax on it. Getting an abatement on sales tax penalties is one of the harder things to do, especially in New York State. I mean, it's still eligible for the New York State Voluntary Disclosure Program. So if you come to them before they come to you on, on sales taxes, the chances of getting the penalties abated are definitely pretty good, I feel. We have about a 99% acceptance rate in the voluntary disclosure program for the clients that we apply for, whether it's sales tax, payroll tax, income tax, a combination of all three or two of them. But if you're not eligible for the voluntary disclosure program, you may be able to get a payment plan. The most common question is, is am I going to jail or, or how much are they going to assess me or, you know, are they going to seize the business, come inspect the business? I mean, the truth is they can do any of that stuff, but it's just really a matter of, again, communicating with the auditor, getting them what they need when they ask for it. And then just trying to negotiate, just being fair with them.